welcome everyone. About a month ago, I took and passed the FE exam and I thought I will do a little video to sort of share my experience of how I approached the studying for the exam and the exam itself and hopefully it will be beneficial to all of you. I will talk about how I prepared for the exam and I will talk about the exam itself. Now, I want you to tell you a few things before we get started. I want you to stay positive. You got this. If you're watching this, it means you have accomplished quite a bit up to this point. You're smart and talented. I'm sending you good thoughts and hoping you believe in yourself and keep your heads up. Now, let's go ahead and get started. For the FE exam battle, having the right material is important. But I feel that the mental part is important too. You have to feel confident before you go and take the exam. Confident that you have the right study approach and study habit. Just remember that you're not doing the exam for yourself only. You're doing it for your loved ones too, to make them proud. The F exam is the start of a success and you should focus on your future with this exam. Now for myself, I'm 10 years out of school. I'm an international graduate and English is my second language. Your background should definitely affect how you prepare and take the exam. I absolutely recommend taking the exam as close to graduation day as possible. And if you've been out of college for a while, it is okay. Just give yourself extra time to go back and learn those subjects that you haven't used for a while. I have never taken statistics, economics, statics, fluid mechanics, strength of materials and instrumentation before. I figured I had a lot to go over. One of my biggest hurdles was not having any fundamentals at all but for those subjects, but I never gave up. I've started everything by ordering the Lindeberg set, the review book and the practice problem book. You can find these on Amazon for the specific discipline you're looking for. The practice exam book has tons of practice problems. Also, I have ordered the NCES practice exam booklet from the NCES website and from the same website I have downloaded my best friend, the reference handbook, free of charge. For you, get the handbook, the PDF version and get used to using it. Use the advanced search option on the PDF, not just the control F option because that is the closest variant to what you will see on the exam. On the actual exam, you should take your calculator. I have the Casio FX115 ES Plus and the calculator will save you so much time. It will solve standard deviations, it will solve matrices, vectors, definite integrals, polar to rectangular form conversions and vice versa, permutations and combination and so on and so forth and that within seconds. This is what I highly recommend. Get the calculator, make sure it is approved by the NCES and get to know the ins and outs of it. It is really important. And because it is not allowed to have any graphic calculator, but the simple scientific one, it shows you that the math involved to the exam is pretty simple. So have the calculator when you study too. Now, when you are set with the study materials and ready for the FA journey, I recommend you to make sure you have a place that's dedicated for studying and focusing. Honestly, sitting around the living room where you usually relax won't help you study. And put your phone in another room. When the first time I sat to study, the first thing I did was I downloaded the NCS specifications from the NCS website. This is a document that tells you what exactly is on the exam and how much it is weighted and that is a big part of the study strategy. I'll talk about it just a little later. Next thing, I set up a schedule of what I will work each day. I put deadlines for every chapter and then I started. I have studied for solid 4 months before the exam for approximately 5 hours a day. That is because I was honest with myself that I have to, a lot to go over with half of the material unknown. I started with the Lindeberg Review Manual, but at that moment that one was not enough to learn the fundamental concepts of the subjects that I have never studied before. So 
I started to search for videos on YouTube for those specific subjects and there are plenty of useful full courses out there that taught me the very basics for statics, for strangle materials, for econ and so on. And from that moment on, YouTube was my new partner. About the Lindeburg Review Manual, this is a good reference book that covers all the topics on the exam. It is concise and it goes over everything. Sometimes it happened for me to not understand some, some part of the book, so I'll just Google it. My study strategy was to go over one chapter a day, and that with a topic that I felt good about it, just to set me on the right mindset. For the larger subjects, or for the ones that I had to learn the basics, I would just dedicate more days, like three to four days, and I went over all the chapters first by reading them all. Or I will watch videos online, I will take notes, and these notes were on small note papers. And one statement the most on each paper. What I did with this, I split them by subject and I would go over them every day. When I finished reading all the chapters and taking notes, I started all over again. I started solving problems. I worked on quality. This means that I worked to understand the, every problem that I was solving, even if it took too long to solve it. I didn't just rush to see the solution. I would work on the problem and I'll grind it until I'm stuck. And in case I really can't solve the problem, I will look for the solution. But after looking at it, I will put it on the side and I will try to solve it by myself all over again. Sometimes, maybe it, for two to three times until I understand what everything comes from. So I worked to understand the concept. In that way, my studying was way more effective. Along with this, I was using the reference manual all the time. And so should you. I set a day to go through the manual and I wrote down what I should work on more. Then I would find some problems online to understand those concepts. So when you start feeling you have a solid grasp of the material, practice as much problems as you can. Review the NCES spec for you to familiarize which sections are in the first portion of the exam and which on the second portion in order to know what to expect on the exam. And this is really important. Work on the highest density type of problems until you are comfortable solving them. Then. You can work on the problem, you should work on the lower density subject problems. Honestly, it happened to me too. There will be days when you won't feel like you would study. And don't study then. Don't blame yourself for it. Have fun going out or just relax and enjoy the day with friends and family. Uh, you will see then how the next day you will be even more focused and prepared. What happened? Two weeks before the exam date, I took the NCES practice exam and I emulated the exam. From that day on, I worked on concepts that I did poorly on, on the practice exam. So I was just practicing until the day came. Practice is the key. Lastly, I will talk a little bit about the exam day and the exam itself. What is really important is having a good night's sleep the day before the exam and don't study that day. Relax and go out with friends. My advice is to arrive at the center around 30 minutes ahead of time and keep in mind that people will be taking other types of exam there since it is a testing center. So give yourself time to register at the front desk, to leave your items in the locker and Stop for five minutes before you enter the exam room to breathe, to boost your brain power and assure yourself that you know more than you think you do. Just to let you know, before entering the exam room, you will have some security checks and palm wings scan too. The exam itself is 110 questions and you have 5 hours and 20 minutes to write it. So somewhere around two, three minutes per question. You will write the test in two sections. 
The first part includes math, probability, ethics, economics. It is and it is like more broad and it is what most engineering degree should cover. And the second part, the second section is discipline specific. You can take as long as you want on each section of the exam, but you want to aim for not more than two and a half hours per section and you will want more a little you will want a little more time on the second portion. After you complete section one, remember that you cannot come back to it later. And then you go on break. The 25 minutes break is optional, but please use it. To be honest, the exam is not terribly hard, but it's exhausting than anything as it is so long. Now you're going through the exam and you're noticing that you can't solve a problem immediately or can't find a formula in the handbook. Just flag the question, skip it and move on. Time management is really important. Don't spend too much time on a single question. Be careful to keep track of your time. You will come, you will come back to the flagged questions at the end of the particular section and you will work on them then at the end. Also, there will be some questions that you don't know at all. Like, don't let them to throw you off. Maybe at the end you will find the formula or the answer in the manual or just make an educated guess or even just choose one letter and move on. Don't get discouraged by it. Honestly, none of the questions on the exam took more than two lines of work and most were like one to two steps. Great portion of the problems were solvable with a formula from the handbook or just by looking at the units. If you can't find a formula, play with units. It always works. Now we came to the end of this video and here are some final thoughts. Just be honest with yourself. Set up a study plan and stick to it. Determine your strengths and weaknesses. Watch videos or review parts thoroughly and work on problems. Remember, the FE exam covers the fundamentals of subjects listed in the specifications. Work hard, but don't burn out. Breathe and think positive. Trust yourself and you will see the green pass. I really hope this was helpful to you and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for watching.